Hello, and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. I think this is episode 10 now. Uh, I can't remember my own numbering system. And today we've got, you know, we've got a plethora of cards, but you see, there is something additional today because for the first time, this first time in about five years, I think, I'm actually doing a collaborative video as Tim uh, has actually brought his stuff as well. So, as you can probably tell from the title, this is going to be part one, which is my stash of cards. And part two, Tim is taking over and will be opening his own cards. And we're also joined by Tom. Chances are, if you've listened to like the podcasts, Listen to us or whatever, you've, you've heard them talk before. Uh, and today, you'll get a hand reveal, which Ooh. is exciting. Um, so yeah, so Tim's going to kind of be sat next to me here. Tom is in the back, because yeah. uh, this... This room isn't big enough for the three of us, which is, I think, how that movie quote goes. Um, so yeah, right, without further ado, I guess we're just going to jump into it. So, before I do anything though, we've got this mat in front of us, which hopefully won't make everything fall. This is a disaster already. We're two it's minutes in. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Um, so just a very brief one. This is Ultra Pro. I think this came out this year, I want to say. Um, as you can see, it's a Squirtle one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go open this, and hopefully there'll be a transition when it's all unfolded. Did they not have Bulbasaur ones? Don't, why didn't you get best started? Well, they had both. I think they had Charmander as well. And the Pikachu one. And there was a great ball one. There's like two times <coughs> more expensive, so... Right, never mind. I didn't even need to edit any of that out because it just slid out. So I'm gonna put the, uh, let's try and angle this, shall we? Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a, that's so the back of this box actually mentions, let me try and find it. Uh, this works with a standard mouse and super wide mat that fits both a keyboard and a mouse, which makes sense actually. Oh, like yeah, yeah. you could you could just buy one of these for your, for your like computer setup, which is really nice. Um, I probably wouldn't do that because it'll, it'll wear away to be honest, but um, I really like that backdrop. I think that's going to be nicer than just a wood table. You know, it's not bad or whatever, but uh, let's put out the product, shall we? God, this is massive. Jesus Christ. When you see the scale of it. Um, so, kudos to Tim. He actually got me one of these because Tesco, uh, which is a UK supermarket, in case you're not from the UK, um, randomly was selling these a while ago, and uh, these are hard to find now. That one I got from Smith's, actually. Ah, Smith's. Smith's Toy Store, not to be confused with WH Smith. Now, which is a bookstore. And we've got two Champions Path stuff. But first, let's do the least hype. Yeah. Not that it's bad. Uh, you know, I, I don't dislike battle styles, but... It's uh, got nice old dark cards, but not as hype as Champions Path and Hidden Fates, for sure. Yes. Uh, and to honor that, Tim actually managed to pull the alt dark Tyranitar uh, from battle styles. So that was pretty good. So we'll have a quick look at the promo. So that's the Jolteon. And this is the promo number, in case you're interested. Uh, there is an Eevee as well. Uh, the guy at the local game store actually said that barely anyone has bought any Eevee cards. So, that poor thing. Uh, and I'm going to get that coin out, BRB. Hey, there we go. We've got everyone's favourite grass hedgehog. And the only grass hedgehog, I imagine. But yeah, um, weird inclusion of Shaman. I don't think Shaman is in the set, does it? And I don't think there's a Shaman card in Battle Styles, no, not that I know of. It wouldn't make really much sense. Um, but yeah, put the card there. Uh, I'm going to try and angle this slightly so we're facing more down, so be obby. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I didn't actually angle it down as much as I thought. But we've got three Battle Styles. Um, I'm going to go in Polion first. Yeah. I pulled an Empoleon GX last time, I believe. That was... That was pretty hype, to be honest. I, I do like this set. I like the whole... Uh... That was the single like rapid style thing. So I'm going to sit on the code card, as I usually do. <laughs> there is no chance of me seeing it there, because I don't like spoiling it. Yeah. So we've got a grass energy. What else are we going to have? Ooh, we've got a coroner's focus. Nice. We've got a uh, car call. A Morpeko, hangry version. Ah, oh, very cute Yamper. We've got a Glamiao. A Corefish. None of these have had the uh, battle style thing at the moment. Uh, some packs you tend to get a lot, I notice. Got a Scabug. 
Reverse is not this, okay? Uh, that's, a, that's a cool looking cube one, actually. I really like that. Hey, ooh, nice. Our reverse. Yeah, look at that. Right, and our first rare. Oh, shit! <laughs> you are kidding me. Okay. Well, so um, the reason we're meeting up today as well is to like, trade some cards, and Tim said, Oh, I don't have that Cricket Town V. Uh -huh. So. That's worked out very well already. Uh, Thank you, Battlestar Gods. A good pull already. I mean, uh, Cricketoon V is one of my favourites from the set. Uh, it's, it's just... I love being Cricketoon. Battlestar has a lot of, like, underrated Pokemon in it. Cause it's got, like, the um, Octillery in it as well. Hmm. Uh, um, Epoleon as well is a bit, like, you don't see a lot of, so it's nice. And that really underrated, never used uh, Pokemon Tyranitar. <laughs> yeah, who is... Yeah. Uh, I see no competitive use whatsoever. Exactly. Right. Water energy. Uh, let's begin with a Durant. I'm going to move it slightly closer to the camera. There we go. Hey, we've got a single strike style mustard. Must be cool, though. Cheryl again. Uh, so, right. <laughs> I, I mentioned in the last video, I didn't know who Cheryl was. Tim has pointed out, she's the one from... Hop in Diamond and Pearl, when you go to that forest and you're, like, forced into double battles, I think she's the one you're forced into double battles with. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... <sighs> really bring in round the, like... It bugged me for ages. I was like, who the hell is Cheryl? So bizarre. We got a Mucro. Hey, there we go. We got a, um... Yeah, we got a battle style, uh, tapping. A Honedge, an Electabuzz, Baltoy, ooh, a Reverse is a Glamia, I thought it was a Steel for a second, and, ooh, okay, ooh, a Hollow Silly Cobra. I swear I pulled a Silly Cobra before, uh, Sandaconda. That wasn't Hollow though, are there two Sandacondas in the set? Possibly? I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not a big fan when cards do that of just like, hey, there's actually two of these, like, Rare Pokemon, because it's like, no, no, put, wants put another interesting one in, like, <laughs> and we end with Tyranitar. Can we pull Altart Tyranitar? Yes. I'm sure, oh god, oh, I fucking destroyed this pack, Jesus oh. Christ. Never mind, oh. Oh. Ah, oh. Whoa, whoa, well, hang on. It's the wrong way round. Yeah, they, uh. I think that was in the wrong way round, wasn't it? Okay, I'll, I'll pick that up in a second. Well, this pack is shit. <laughs> yeah, we ain't, ain't going to pull any major stuff from this one, but we'll see. It, it may be a rare I've not seen. Oh, Tower of Darkness. Uh, Coroner's Focus. Oh, you got a Carcol. A Gliding Gligar. Oh, that really cute spike. That is a cute spike. Uh, we've got a Bronzo. That Tepig again. A Pachirisu. Ooh. Ooh, Fan of Waves. I don't think I've pulled this. Hey, there you go. And it's reverse. Hey. Oh, man. I like that the blue is a different colour and stuff. Mm. And our rare non-hollow is a Mian Shao. It's okay. Rapid Strike. Guess yeah, that's kind of cool. I do like Mian Shao. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, god damn, that was a weird... <laughs> you went in reverse order, you got the best card, then the okay card, then the shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> reverse that's... it when you upload it. Yeah, there we are. I'll, uh... Right, cool. I'm going to put everything uh, to the side and stuff, and we'll probably go on the Champion's Path next. Yeah, I think Hidden see, Fate's hidden. last. Oh. So, be back in a sec. All right, we are back. So, um, I've bought these two uh, Champion's Path triple packs. Uh... One of them is Hamalock Jim, and the other is Ballon... No, not... Yeah, Ballon Lee. Um, we'll go Ballon Lee first, I think. So, it's been a while since I've opened Champion's Path, and I do actually have an Elite Trainer box, but... Uh, for, like, the first time ever with Pokemon cards, I've actually elected to just leave it sealed, because... Um, Boo! Well... I, whilst I like Champion's Path a lot, I wasn't, like, desperate to open it, and I, I really like the box itself, because it's got that Charizard and stuff, so... I thought, well, you know, it's it's kind of an investment as well, because... This is uh, pension. Exactly. I'm going <laughs> to... Retire on that. So, oh, we don't have a code card. Those are in the back. I don't know. Um, but first, we have this delightful alchemy. I, I really like that hollow effect. That's yeah. super mirror shine. Like, there are lots of different hollow effects. There's like cracked glass and stuff as well. But uh, I think, is that the way? 
<laughs> yeah, because yeah, usually it's like half a butterfly, right? Yeah, because a butterfly's wings are larger than the top. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's the. Uh, admittedly, you know, not my favourite gym or anything, but it's Champion's Path, and um, I'd like to have uh, one pin from each gym, but I don't know. It's. Oh no! I'm not going to pull a hollow from this plastic case. Oh. I think that means you are going to pull a hole from the plastic. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, it's white. <laughs> Which you did. <laughs> ah, there we are. Cool. Well, it was correct. So, let's see. What uh, what ones do we have? We have a Gallade. A uh, Gardevoir, sorry. Have, uh, that is Alcrumy, isn't it? Yeah, Alcrumy V-Max. Full one and... Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. Yes, I completely blanked his name there. And Dreadnought. Right. Um, let's do it in this order. Let's keep yeah. Gardevoir until like the end. I Dreadnought, yeah, I love tortoises. I love steel types. Um, steel type. Is he not steel? Rock water, I want to say. Yeah, rock water. Oh, I always thought he was steel water for some reason. Right. Oh God. Oh, this isn't opening very well. Cool. Right. Bad sign. That yeah. Means, that means you've got bad pull. Very bad sign. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the first. Oh wow. Yeah. This is not opening. There we go. Look at. That. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it doesn't matter for this one, it's you guaranteed it leaves a hollow on top. Oh yeah. Out. Oh no, it is still four, isn't it? Yeah. The front. Cool. Let's begin with psychic. Actually, yeah, I can just put my cords to the side there then. Alright, we begin with a light part. Team Yell Grunt. Or Grunts, okay. technically. Hey, Sonia. Yeah. Are cute. We've got Ekins. Carvana. I love that art on Carvana. Really cool. Ooh, Pokeball. That's it's kind of like, it looks a bit um, EX Sandstorm kind of era of 3D. Yeah, it kind of does, yeah, you're right. Same for that portion. It's, it's got that slightly... So I think the one after this is the potential. The potential uh, one. Oh, wait, no. Champion's Path doesn't have the uh, thing, does it? No. Reverse Never mind. We've got a reverse zigzagoon. And oh, ooh, okay. Oh, scrafty. Scrafty. Don't think I have this crafty. Hey. Unless I have. Uh, maybe in the past, <laughs> in a previous video, I've probably said, oh, I don't think I have this crafty. <laughs> so, that's something. Very nice. Let's put that to the side. Let's move on to Alchemy Cake. Uh, Alcake. Alcake? Sounds like a. Strange rapper name. <laughs> it's it's a rapper, but also he bakes on the side, which yeah, is yeah, nice. Yeah. Very wholesome, uh, to be honest. Wow, these packs are just not opening very well. Okay, thankfully I have quite a few. Uh, no, not four to the front. Not four. four not to the back. Four to the back. <laughs> Let's have a look at the rare first. Electric, not fire. All right then. All right, we've got a Turfield Stadium. Pokemon Center Lady, she's lost her name forever now. Hey, Sharpedo to go with the Carvana. We got a Sizzlepeed. Ma I, I quite like that matchup. Yeah. That's cute. Ooh, Roly Coley. Very nice. Full. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that full heel. Or maybe I have. Portion. Next is the reverse. Hey, we've got a Rock Rough. Nice. And a rare. Oh, okay. Is uh, okay. yeah. So I I've not pulled many of these hollow trainers. So whilst it's not particularly a hype thing to pull, mm. it's like I I quite like the concept of hollow trainers because Team Rocket set had them, didn't they? Mm. Champions Pass seems to be full of trainers. Like even the commons and uncommons, you get like get like loads of trainers in a pack of normal. Yeah. I guess it's like, it's one of those things, it's a bit of a support set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know. Uh, right. E. Oh, that, well, wherever. If you, if you manage to get that cord, GG. I, I don't mind. <laughs> you know. I don't usually give them away. On the... Yeah. yeah. I'm sure all, all of the hundreds of people watching this are all fighting over it. Right, Steel Energy. Rotom, uh, Rotom Phone. I was going to say Rotom Dex, because I'm so used to it now. We've got a Team Yell Grunt. Oh, a Malamar. Very nice. Hey, as Galarian Zigzagoon. Weedle, the most uh, the most hype of them. Sizzlepeed. 
We've got a Swablu. Our reverse is next after Carvana. <laughs> oh, look how smooth oh, that is. Yeah. You know, you, you, don't, nice. you don't get this kind of quality, you know, without years of experience. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll definitely take that. That's a nice. That's uh, a nice reverse, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh, interesting. Wow! <laughs> okay then. Well, I, I said I was happy with the pull, so clearly yeah, the, uh, the gods. Arceus heard me there. <laughs> right. Put that to the side, and we'll head straight on into the Hammerlock one. Uh, there we are. Well, the the Ballon Lee one, you know, was it was a start to kind of yeah, it's building up. Still. Yeah, exactly. So Ballon Lee's gym badge I really like because it's just it's a dragon basically. Uh, I should have got the Motorstoke one when I saw her online, but oh well. Got a Duraldon uh, Hollow yet again. It's got that like mirror shine dotted kind of thing. Very nice. Very much digging that. Uh, yep. Yeah. And of course the badge that I mentioned. I like that they're all um, uh, kind of offset. Doesn't they, they don't look uniform a lot of them? Like so, asymmetrical. Yeah. yeah. I mean, technically this is symmetrical, but colour-wise it's not. It's yeah, like, oh, like that. that's that's really cool. That's probably my favourite one. Uh, and we have three packs again, and the code card. Oh, we did get a hollow, so oh. it did predict it. Uh, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check all the plastic and stuff to the side. So BRB. All right, we are back. So I've got all three of them. So we have the um, the God of War again, the Dreadnought, and the Galarian Obstagoon. So we've got all four packs, which is cool. So I'm gonna do it this way. I, I swear I haven't opened one of those, but uh, with Obstagoon on, but I could be misremembered. I haven't opened a ton of Champions Path to be honest. Um, I think it may have been the Moni collection, and uh, oh, um, I can't remember the dark place now, but that that gym, the dark gym, champions path thing. These have not opened well today. All of these have been horrendous so far. <laughs> so right, water energy. Hey. Oh hey, That's let's good luck. go. That's good luck. Oh, we've got Hop. I suppose someone sees us good luck. Oh, Arbok. <laughs> nice, okay. nice, nice. Sharpedo again. Mm -hmm. This is a small set, I think, so we're going to see a yeah. lot of devils. Got a uh, Zigzagoon, sorry. Sizzlepeed. A Pocket Ball. Hey, Inky. Nice. Very nice. Volpix. A rev no. No, wait, no. It is reverse. reverse sorry, it's a dark. That's nice. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. Hatterene, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I don't think I have that. Hatterene acute. Oh yeah, so there we are. Right, we have two packs left. Can I pull anything crazy from them? I'll do this later. Uh, I'm gonna guess no, but hey, there we are. I uh, I was not having a good time there. Right, let's do God of War next, I think, and keep obstacle until last, because I I've got I got a good feeling about that pack. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, so far, out of four packs, we've pulled three hollows, because... You are guaranteed a hollow. <laughs> yes. Uh, right, so... Four to the front. Grass energy. Uh, Tom? Uh, psychic. Dark. Hey. Wow. Well, <laughs> and an Arbok. Can we keep... No, okay. Oh, Victini! Yeah, Victini's an uncommon! It always confuses me when legendaries are uncommon. So like, strange. Wrong. Yeah. Team Yelgrunt, Carvana, Scraggies. Scraggies. Uh, Swablu. Hatena. We've got... Oh, Linoon! Hey, there we are. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, Reverse Alteria. Oh, God. Is it going to be uh, <laughs> Professor... Oh! <laughs> Yo, right. Okay, so another part another part of the meetup today, obviously. Uh, Tim had some, th uh, you know, spares he was willing to give us. And one thing neither me nor Tom have is a Hollow Marnie from Champion's Path. <laughs> and I was very interested. I said, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love a Hollow Marnie. I do not have one. No, you don't need one. <sighs> wow. Uh, Tim, I believe you, you have four of them now? I have four. I did three of the Champions Path ones and one from whatever other set she showed up in. I want to say it was Rebel Clash. It could well be Rebel because Clash. Because I think I remember opening a Rebel Clash, or like two packs, 
I'm being like, oh, they've got hollow trainers in them now, and I think that was the first one to do it since like base, well, Gen One, uh, Steel Energy. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, oh yeah, it's, this is actually <laughs> tuned to Tim. So, right. Third Sharpedo. Third Sharpedo. First light pod? No. Definitely had a light pod already. Second Rotom Foam. Uh, like third Swab Blue. Seen that Ekans a few times. Uh, seen that match up a few times. Don't think you want a nick. No, today. first nick it. Uh, second Linoon? Yeah. Uh, ooh, oh, okay, reverse Sonia. Okay. I really like that they made the trainer text. Yeah. yeah. Hollow that. Ooh, That's and a nice that. Touch. Oh, okay. It's a nice little touch. And our last one is a Center Scorch. It's not been too bad. To be honest, as I mentioned, it's, it's the pins that really got me with these collections because uh, I kind of want to display with them. Whatever right. helps you sleep at night. Exactly. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to go, the good stuff. I'm gonna go put the these stuff. to the side and then we'll get on to Hidden Fates. Uh, right, we are back. So we have this Gyarados Hidden Fates tin. Now, the main reason it's the Gyarados one is because I've actually got the Raichu and Charizard. I think... I think I opened them both in the 250 subscriber special. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I definitely opened Charizard, and I think I remember Raichu as well. So this is perfect, because it's, it's very rare I'll collect all three promos from a tin set. Uh, so I love that they've gone with the cardboard instead of the hard yes. thing there. Now, not just because, you know, good for the earth and shit like that, but it's just easier to take out with the tin. Yeah, and it keeps them a bit straighter, so if you don't do it for a, mm. for a few days or weeks, like, yeah. you're not going to warp her as much. But that's the Gyarados with the, oh, I love the, like, Rainbow GX ripple thing. It's very nice. Uh, I'm going to put that in the back like that, to be honest. Uh, right, and I believe it's four. Oh. Look at that. Oh, and it's one of every design. Ah, hey. oh, I don't know if you're guaranteed it in these tins, but... I want to say you're not, so I think you've locked Ooh. it. Ooh. Right. Oh, God. Now I'm going to have to decide in which to open. Oh. I say you go with the birds, me, in yeah. they are. Yeah, to be fair. So I have opened a Hidden Fate Elite Trainer Box, so I do have that beautiful legendary birds. Nice. Man, if, if they do another one of those, like... For another type of Pokemon, uh, I I'll probably end up buying that Elite Trainer box and opening it. To be honest, because it's definitely worth it. So Hidden Fates, uh, for those who are unfamiliar, has the kind of subset, if that makes sense. So um, in the reverse hollow part of the pack, there's a chance you'll get one from the Reed Shiny, Shiny Vault. Shiny Vault, that's Ooh. it. So, uh, and they're, they're always hollow cards, and they're always shiny versions of those Pokemon. Sometimes they're GXs as well. So we've got a Scyther. We've got a Sabrina Suggestion. Pokemon Center Lady again. Got a Clefairy. Got a Coughing. So I think one more card, and then it's maybe shiny. Voltorb. No, no, okay, one. next one. <laughs> Cuborn. No, next one. <laughs> oh, wow, Jesus Christ. Too, too Smooth. Nice. Yeah. No, okay, Remember. it's a reverse, but it's a big leaf, which yeah. is nice. There are some kind of cool hollows in um, Hidden Fates as well. I didn't get one. Oh, Blaine's Last Stand, okay. Don't think I've pulled that. That's all right. Oh, wait, no, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with Champion's Path, the like main set of Hidden Fate is tiny, so you're going to get a lot of doubles, I'm imagining. I want to say there's something like 70 cards in standard Hidden Fate. Yeah, so... look at the bottom on this pack, no idea. Yeah, that's a good point. So we got Moo next. Will Moo bless us with anything? Uh, I'm hoping... I'm hoping for a Shiny Vault thing. It, it seems to have got one in every like four packs. Yeah. I reckon. It seems to be. I don't think that actually means anything. It's just the... Uh, actually, yeah, I don't think the code card accounts for your shiny vault card, does it? No, I don't think it does. Uh, right, ooh, Misty Cerulean City Gym. I love that they've got the outline yeah. of... Yeah, you know, nostalgic. And um, same Brock. as Brock's. <laughs> uh, a Metapod. Oh, okay, we pulled a reverse of that just now. Very cute Clefairy. Illegal Clefairy. 
Elite. Oh yeah. Oh, fairy types. You got a Caterpie. So one more after Paris, right? Maybe. <laughs> I can't tell anymore. No, okay. Oh, yeah. I can't count. I want to say it's the next one. No, okay. So it's a I reverse. First golem. Oh, shitty base set art. Um, we got a Kangas can. Yeah. Okay, fair hot? enough. No, no, it's a rare. Well, hey, look, you know where. Uh, it's building up, it's building up. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's better to do this than pull crazy stuff for the start and then end on like. Yeah. On, end on a Kangas can would be worse, so. Mewtwo. No. Oh, if I could pull a, a shiny Mewtwo. Oof. Oh. But yeah, right, well we got two packs left of the first part, but stay tuned because uh, Tim has got quite a few cool things lined up as well to the side. So, next up is Koga's Trap, nice. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Misty's <laughs> Determination, man, there's so many gym leaders in this. Uh, Paris, so we're five cards in now. Psyduck, six. Charmander, seven. There's one more after it. Magic, right, okay. this okay. is the potential. Nope. No, no, next one. <laughs> Slowpoke. Okay, it's a reverse oh, EV. I know we're rare. Ooh, Hollow Jesse and James. Yo, let's go. Okay, nice. Nice. Uh, so I do not have this. This is another one I really wanted. It was another one I was going to offer digitally to you. Hey, there we are. Well... <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. I, I'm pretty happy with that overall, yeah. to be honest. No. Even if the last part is shit, that was a pretty cool Yeah, pull. That, that's a cool pull. Uh, right. Guaranteed Charizard. Yeah, guaranteed. yeah, guaranteed, because it's it's shiny Charizard now. Uh, oh, ooh, this pack. This pack is opening nice as well. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, God. Or oh, has it been resealed? <laughs> <laughs> resealed by Smiths. Yeah. yeah. Right. Two, three, four. Four. I'm going to say fighting energy. I'm going to say water. I'm going to say sidekick. None of us oh. were right. We have that jinx giving us the kiss of luck. Yeah, yeah. We've got a graveler. I love that puppet. <laughs> Look, he's so happy to have his he's, he's really, oh, he loves that thing. we got a jigglypuff. We've got a star you. That I feel like is a reprint from something. Like it doesn't it? Yeah, it's older. An Ekans, right? Evie, I think the next one is our last you chance. Do one. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Fucking hell, on the edge of my seat, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is nice. Oh, oh goodness! Man. Right, two seconds. I'm gonna go check the number for that. <laughs> That is... Jesus, right, beautiful. so this is Shiny Vault 94 and 94. Oh, it's... Oh, I didn't know they had gold cards. Oh, Fuck me. God. Right, now, admittedly, I'm guessing this oh. is not... This isn't, like, the rarest of the set or ever, but yo! It's so nice. I've never pulled a gold card. Um, I have sleeves, so I'm going to sleeve that in a second, but... I'm going to gingerly put it... <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, hey, rest. Oh, wow. Well, Fuck well. me. Jesus Christ. Just ending on a Snorlax. Cool. Right, I'm going to go sleeve that. I'll be oh. Right. Tim has just given me, actually. Uh, so he bought a uh, premium collection a while ago. He's given me one of the gold sleeves. Oh, yeah, fuck me. It looks so beautiful. Yo, let's... Okay, so I, I was hoping, you know, maybe... A, a hollow from the shiny vault at the end, you know, well, one of those nice hollows, but fuck, boys. That is a nice way to finish. We, it yeah, we really ended on a high. That's, oh, I couldn't have planned this better. That was. That was good. My was packs good. are going to be a big disappointment, though. <laughs> God damn it. Oh wow! Okay, I'm I'm glad because the first the first two packs are like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Oh. Right, cool. I'm going to just go and stare at this now. Um, the colour combination is so satisfying. Yeah, because like, it, it's like pink anyway, I think, isn't it? Tapulele, uh shiny is like a pink and white or something. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Um, right, that ends part one. As I mentioned, we've got part two, uh, which is Tim's stuff. So we'll be clearing this up. Uh, you can use this back room if you want, Tim. I will. And we'll be uh, opening up a Rapidash V, 
a uh, real steel collection and six like loose packs and stuff so stay tuned for that that'll be going up like in a day or two or whatever or if you watch this a week after it's uploaded it'll already be there so um i'll see you guys in the next one